the righteousness of Christ sufficient, April 15. But now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets, even the righteousness of God which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all and upon all them that believe, for there is no difference. Romans 3 21, 22. What is justification by faith? It is the work of God in laying the glory of man in the dust, and doing for man that which it is not in his power to do for himself. When men see their own nothingness, they are prepared to be clothed with the righteousness of Christ. Those whom heaven recognizes as holy ones are the last to parade their own goodness. The Apostle Peter became a faithful minister of Christ, and he was greatly honored with divine light and power, he had an active part in the upbuilding of Christ's church, but Peter never forgot the fearful experience of his humiliation, his sin was forgiven, yet while he knew that for the weakness of character which had caused his fall only the grace of Christ could avail. He found in himself nothing in which to glory. None of the apostles or prophets ever claimed to be without sin. Men who have lived nearest to God, men who would sacrifice life itself rather than knowingly commit a wrong act, men whom God had honored with divine light and power, have confessed the sinfulness of their own nature. They have put no confidence in the flesh, have claimed no righteousness of their own, but have trusted wholly in the righteousness of Christ. So will it be with all who behold Christ. The righteousness of Christ, as a pure white pearl, has no defect, no stain, no guilt. This righteousness may be ours. Salvation, with its blood-bought, inestimable treasures, is the pearl of great price. The thought that the righteousness of Christ is imputed to us, not because of any merit on our part, but as a free gift from God, is a precious thought. The enemy of God and man is not willing that this truth should be clearly presented, for he knows that if the people receive it fully, his power will be broken. This text is from the book. The Faith I Live by Alan G. White. Mm -hmm.